The objection I have to death of God theology is that it, it just has this sound that we've finished with this subject and it's over and let's move on. I think with advanced technologies that we'll just simply recontextualize. We'll keep coming back to this question, this story, and put it in, into an, a new context. I'm not interested in the death of God, I'm interested in the kingdom of God. And I'm interested in the, what I call the hermeneutics of the kingdom of God. That is to say, understanding what's going on in these in these religious symbols. Do I think that when I die, I'm going to face eternal uh, reward or punishment? No, I think that is a, a figment of religious imagination. And to literalize it is, causes a lot of unhappiness. You know. The study of religion is a study of one of the humanities. You know, it's like studying history or theology or, or, or philosophy or, or, or politics. You're studying one of the ways in which human beings express their humanity. And so, you know, in a tolerant, pluralistic, democratic world, we would understand the symbolic status of religion to begin with. Religious traditions are symbolic ways to express things about life and death and birth and age and sickness and health and children and all that. And we all have our own stories. I think our religious imagination is as much a part of us as our literary imagination, as our scientific imagination, as our political imagination. I think all of those are, are dimensions of being human. That's the kingdom of God.